Hello, welcome to another music reaction video uh, with and with this batch of music. So we're doing music reactions with Heather, uh, showing her a bunch of video game stuff uh, of good, uh, awesome music. Uh, and this batch of videos is going to start off with more Sonic. Um, I saw you guys' comments uh, talking about different Sonic songs to show her. And I, I have shown her some uh, before, you know, privately before doing, you know, thinking about doing something like this. And um, so I was trying to think of, like, what stuff she would, you know, wouldn't have heard of before or whatever, whatever. So for, uh, for this video, I decided, uh, since you liked Knuckles' theme so much in Sonic Adventure 1. Uh-huh. That I would go through all the level themes from Sonic Adventure 2 in Knuckles levels. Okay. Specifically, specifically Knuckles levels in Sonic Adventure 2. This will be fun. Uh, I'm going to try to go in order. I have the level list up of all the levels. So I'm going to try to go in order of how they appear in the game. I could probably fuck it up. This is uh, from the stage Wild Canyon. Alright, this is this is playing while you're doing shit. Okay. Like this is an actual level thing. Which every level theme relates to what Knuckles is feeling at that moment. Okay. More so. It kind of relates to the events going on and just what he's thinking in a jazzy rap. Yeah. So I don't love you. Or die, I don't love you. Yeah. Specifically. That was that that was always a line that stood out to me. Yeah. So that's kind of where it looped, by the way. So, okay. so it, it, it essentially is the same uh, song. You know, let's let's keep going through it. Cause I believe there is still like an ending. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, the, the um, vocals aren't too like prominent to me. So I feel like if, you know, like during gameplay, like it would just be like the background. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. That's so rough, man. <laughs> yeah, he's, harsh. he's like, hey, this, this, you know, bat with tits. Stealing my shit. <laughs> now I have to go find the mass pieces of Master Emerald again. And yeah, that just leads into the loop again. Okay. But yeah, so that that was uh the Wild Canyon. Okay, that's music. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just seemed like a you know normal. Yeah, it's just interesting. Like they for Knuckles' music. Or, yeah, for his levels, they specifically went with rap. Yeah. Like, lyrical rap for, like, something to be played to search for some gems. Yeah. 
All right, now the one that everybody uh, remembers for sure. So the first one was Wild Canyon. Um, this next one is from the stage Pumpkin Hill. Okay. I guess that I don't actually know the song's names, but I guess this one is a ghost's pumpkin soup. <laughs> okay. And not everybody that plays Sonic knows this song, like remembers this song. No, uh, uh, opposite. Oh. This stands out to people. I think it's because of that piano line. Yeah. I, I like this one better. Yeah? Yeah. See? <laughs> This one, like the lyrics are more prominent. Like I was saying, the other one, it was very like background soundy. This one, yeah, it's a lot like, more. It's more like a song. Yeah. I know that it's here. I sense it in my feet. The great emerald's power allows me to feel. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. I gotta hold my head. I have no fear. It probably seems crazy, crazy. What year was this game? Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 was, I think. 2000. Okay. Around there. I, I also like knowing that to like think about the sounds of stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and talking about ghosts, like, yeah, this is Pumpkin Hill is like a haunted area. I, I kind of gathered that from the like the background. Yeah. That. Yeah. So it definitely <laughs> gives you that feel. Yeah. Pokey. So yeah, e each one of these, it's gonna loop. Yeah. So, so we we we'll listen to the loop once. But yeah, so that that, that was a uh, Pumpkin Hill. I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, like that one. I like that one better than the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you drive with it more. Yeah, and I, I think, especially like like what you said, the first one was a little bit more in the background. This one's a little more in your face. Yeah. Yeah, there's just something about this song that, like, they, they just stands out. And I, I think it's, like, when it happens in the game, too. Like, I don't know. Something about it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, I believe the next level. And I can't see from right, here. Dive into the Mellow, which is the uh, level Aquatic Mine. Oh, Okay. You're literally just... in the sewers, by the way. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the vibe that they give him. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's all like. The time. It's just yeah, like, chill out. It's like jazzy feel. <laughs> this kind of sounds Persona ish a little bit. Yeah? I, 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 I think so. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll sh right after this, just for shits and giggles, I'll show you the song I'm thinking of. Yep. But oddly enough, this level also has the most important item to Knuckles. Where he gets a thing where he's allowed to breathe underwater. Which is very important for the last level. And, you, and they don't. But you can complete the level. You can complete this level without it. Just to find out later. Oh, that fuck, I that you. Like, you can't complete the final level without it, but it's a pain in the dick to do. 
like it's either make sure you get the optimal time of getting what you need to do with the end game, the air bubbles, or just have a fucking breathing apparatus. I'd rather take the breathing on the water. Me, just like running around and changing water levels and finding right. emeralds. I like it. This one's kind of chill too. Oh yeah. And that's where it looped. Okay. Yeah, that's another good like background noise kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely fits, like chill. especially like with the underwater theme. Right. Like, it's that very. Makes sense that it would be. Like yeah. super chill and like even you can even hear like it, like the reverb in his voice, like it kind of gives that feeling of being underwater and rapping at the same time. Yeah, you're you're in the pyramid. You're breaking into the pyramid that has Eggman stuff in it, and he's trying to find keys to open a door. And because like Sonic goes through, and then you're like, hey, this door is locked. You need to find the key. Hey, Knuckles, you're a treasure hunter. You do it. This is that level. Okay. Already. This sounds familiar to me for some reason. Really? Yeah. This is not and you reach the death chain. Well, obviously not the lyrics, just the sound though. Right. Yeah, it has very like I mean nineties feel to it. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. Interesting. Different than the others. Yeah. But this is all the same artist as you could hear that did all the raps for yeah. Knuckles Bubbles. Which there was a whole controversy with him and with like really? copyright and he's also kind of a piece of shit. This is this is the only notable work he's ever done. <laughs> Whoever this guy is. He's worried about copyright for him making music specifically for a game. There was some other stuff that was bad about him, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know the story, so, but just quick line like that, that doesn't make sense to me, like, why? Oh, that's, and, you know, you know, people who do stuff who wants more than what they got, you know, that type of shit. Yeah, it, it, yeah. If you took out the lyrics, this could just be like a normal level thing. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's where that looped. Okay. Yeah, Death Chamber. I liked that one. Yeah. For, uh, for the title, I wasn't expecting <laughs> that kind of sound. Yeah, right. You would expect something harder for Death Chamber. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I was expecting a little more, like grindy, but I mean not grindy. I, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, harder. Just, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But no, another just super chilled out groove. Yeah, I like that one. So that's number two on the list. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is his last level by himself. And this one is uh, literally in space. Cool. So. Okay. So we went through the sewers, and now we're in space. Once we get through the games on stream, you'll, you'll see how that connects. I'll be like, hey, I know this song. <laughs> see? <laughs> but then you're not going to remember that we did this. So you'll be like, how, why do I know this? And I'll be like, it's because we did failure. And you're like, oh yeah, you're right. Gives off um, a little 
this also has like the spooky sound thing too, though. But yeah, this gives off space vibes. Yeah. Get warm. That. Yeah, the sound effects, yeah. Every time I hear this song, I always, I, like, like, listening to these songs, I'm always expecting, like, the actual level, like, sound effects, like, objects and shit uh -huh. in those levels. Like, like, this one, I'm also imagining, like, meteors crashing sound effects. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, no, because this is just the sound. But this is just the song. <laughs> right. And yeah, that's this is where it starts to loop. Yeah. So like, since they're level themes, they're not exactly. Most level scenes aren't like they 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 still have to be like contain be contained within a song, but also be able to loop at the same time. With the exception of one song, that is the very first song that you probably will hear outside of the menu theme in Sonic Adventure. Mm -hmm. uh, which is Sonic's level, um, but you've you've heard it. Escape, uh, Escape from the City, rolling around at this speed. It plays in the car all the time. Oh, okay, <laughs> you've heard it. Um, but uh, with that, let's go ahead and also just listen to his theme song from this game. So yeah, if you remember the Sonic Adventure One. And then just think about this version here. Oh, no, this is actually different, yeah. Yeah. Not quite like Sonic, where it's the same. The chorus is the same. I honestly like the first one better, but... I'm trying, I gotta give it a chance first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still like it, though. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you, you like this guy's voice for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Yeah. So it's very... There's, there's, it's a full song, but it's not like a level thing. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Knuckles just is my kind of guy, I guess. Yeah, Knuckles is your jam. Just the vibe he gives off. And they were still able to add that jazzy element to it. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> I have no as we Don't I think I 
kind of know why you like this guy singing. It's very in sync ish. It's yeah, you think so? A little, yeah. The singing specifically. The what? Like the like the this type of singing specifically. Oh, like boy bandy. Boy bandy type. ish, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like one of the lines made me think of NSYNC. And I'm like, oh, that's probably why she likes it. <laughs> yeah, taking me back to like eight year old me. <laughs> yeah. This is. No, this part, no, for sure not, no. So yeah, so every song from Sonic Adventure 2, it like character themes are heavily like like different versions of the first Sonic right. Adventure okay. themes. That's why I, I decided not to do a whole video of that because it'd be kind of like more of the same, but also right. different. But I decided since we're doing a Knuckles video, I should sh yeah. show you his theme as well. And we did it doesn't matter as well, so we did a little bit of that too. He got a little guitar solo in the back while he's rapping. Yeah. Yeah. But. Oh. <laughs> so that that was basically all of Knuckles' songs in Sonic Adventure 2, including his theme. I liked them. Yeah, they all. It was cohesive with, like, you know, like, his vibes or whatever. And then you telling me what each level would be, like, that made sense. Like yeah. How they incorporated that. Incorporated with as the level. Well. Yeah. So, yeah, I liked those. Yeah, they, they, they did a really good job making each character's music work with each other. Like, like, everybody's stage themes have their own sound. Mm -hmm. Like... You could tell if it's if it's a shadow stage, if it's a sonic stage, if it's a tail stage, if it's an Eggman stage, if it's a Rouge stage. Like you could you could tell what stage it is just by the music alone. That's Cause, cool. Yeah, because yeah. like you, you got like Sonic who's like like very like rock inspired. Um yeah, usually very very upbeat, very fast type music. Shadows is like prog rock almost. Like old prog rock. Yeah. Not new prog rock. Yeah. Um so you could also be kind of alternate, but it's it, it, it's a little bit more like distant type music than Rouge is very like it, kind of in the same vein as Knuckles, like in a ja jazzy but more feminine jazz. Okay. <laughs> then and then Eggman is Egg, Eggman's a little more like subtle or a little more like industrial. Eggman would be industrial. Okay. And then, and then Tails is kind of the same, but upbeat. Tails and Sonic is almost the same, uh, but Tails is uh, a little bit more, like a little bit more upbeat than Sonic is just like kind of bombastic rock, where Tails is a little more upbeat. Like fun. Type. Yeah. Okay. Depending on the level, obviously. Right. So, uh, that was uh, all of Knuckles' music. Uh in Sonic Adventure 2, uh, we will possibly go be going through more Sonic music, or and I am going to be branching out, like probably this next video or next couple videos of reactions that we're going to be doing other video games. It's not just going to be Sonic music. Uh, we're doing other video games. We're going to do some uh, Guilty Gear. We're going to do some Dragon Ball Z games. We're going to do we're going to do a bunch of shit. Nice. Okay. Um, but that is the end of this video uh, of me showing her music and me over explaining everything as i do 
Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from us, subscribe. And until next time, bye.